Hello guys and welcome to lesson 10 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at the types of selection that we have in Photoshop. So, so far we have been using these tools right there, which is the normal selection tool. And over here there are other selection tools as well. So the one we've been using is rectangular, elliptical and single row, a uh, single column. The, the, uh, these are the basic selection tools right there. And over here, we have the lasso tool. So what lasso tool allows you to do, it has the same features as you can see in the normal marquee selection tool. But over here in the lasso tool, it allows you to freely draw uh, draw in, inside the canvas. And you can just press control backspace just like that. Over here as well in the polygonal lasso tool, this actually lets you click points and then you can create your own shape just like that to make the selection. So that is how you create polygonal lasso tool over there. Magnetic lasso tool is more for pictures. So we'll, uh, so if you want to select this part, let me just press control D. We already have a shape over here. So if you want to select this, just click your um, cursor over here. Just slide the, uh, slide your cursor. Uh, I'm not clicking or doing anything. And this actually snaps to the edges of the object as you can see. So if there's contrast area, I can just click if you want to fix the point, it actually snaps to the edges. This is actually very useful inside of pictures rather than the shapes. So if I want to drag this inside, I can do that as well. This actually snaps. And then over here, I can click back to make it a, a selection. I can so I can do a layer via cut over there. I can do a layer via cut, control Z. Okay. Control Z. So when I'm recording my screen, this actually happens quite often because like when I right click, this is actually glitching right there. So layer by a cut and this actually happens. So you, you see the glitch that uh, happens while screen recording. It does not happen while you're actually using the software. So that's fine. So you can actually uh, do the selection right like that as well. This one here is the quick selection tool. So if you want to just uh, click and drag, it actually selects a whole layer with a similar color right there. Again, very useful for pictures. And the magic wand tool actually selects the similar colors. So let me just press Control D. And if I were to press this, you can see that the magic wand actually selects the whole color right there. So let me just open up a picture and try that out as well. So if I were to open up a picture right there, let me just select this out. And then there's the picture. So if I were to click it, you can see that the parts of the pictures are actually selected just like that. And if I were to go to quick selection tool, I can just click and drag and you can see that the selection is actually just happening. So uh, it's not working. Okay, let's just press control D, drag it out. And you can see that the quick selection is actually acting out just like that. So it does take some time if the image is large because it does use a lot of processing power. So that is how you use a selection tool inside of uh, for Adobe Photoshop. Let me just try that once more. Let's press Control D. Let's just select this out right there. And if I were to click and drag, you can see that I can actually just drag the boot. So if I want to actually uh, not select this, then I can just uh, go over here inside the minus icon and then just uh, click this. So you can see that this is being deselected now. So you can add the plus to actually increase the level of selection right there and press the minus icon to actually uh, uh, erase it out. So you can quickly select any part of the image just like that and I can right click and then uh, press layer via copy uh, to create a version of the same uh, picture again. So this is how you can you can easily make selections inside of pictures as well. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.